This video brought to you in part by the Patreon supporters of Cobra TV. What is going on, guys? Thank you so much for coming back to Cobra TV. And today we're going to be doing a very different episode here. As you know, it's Free Fly. That is right. You get to test this game out for free. All you got to do is uh, just make an account and then download it. And guess what? <clears throat> you get extra in-game money if you use my referral code, which is in the description down below. And you also get some kind of limited armor that they're giving away uh, if you use my referral code as well. Uh, plus, what does it do for me? It gets me closer to getting one of those big, gigantic javelins. J javelins. Javelins. Uh, it's, it's a big ship, and we're so close to getting it. We're almost there. So if you out there are trying to get yourself an alt account, well, use the referral if you've already got Star Citizen. That'll get us closer to that javelin. All right, guys, listen. This video is going to be aimed at brand new players I mean, well, it's more aimed at people that uh, might not know what Star Citizen is. And that's what this video is going to be. We're going to be doing a series here uh, that's going to be called This Is Star... We're going to be doing a series here that's called This Is Star Citizen. And it's going to be... Look at that. You see that train down there? Did you see that train? That uh, that's, a, that's a train track. We're going to be on the train here very shortly. And uh, that is, um, it's real. It's not graphics. It's not, look, there's a train. There could be actually some other player on that train. It's an actual train all the way down there. That out there, it's not flavor graphics. That's real. <clears throat> all right. So uh, let me go ahead and get dressed here. And then we'll get going. And uh, we'll start with uh, 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 episode one here. All right. So let me go ahead and go into my handy dandy inventory system. And let's just put something simple on. We're not gonna, we're not gonna go all out and and try and get dressed up and go and impress any ladies out there or whatever. Uh, so let's see, what can what can I wear? Um, I'm just gonna, uh, we'll just put this on. You know what? No, we need to get dressed and prepared. That's what we need to do. So we're gonna go ahead and put on our Cobra Force uniform. So let's get that on, and we'll get the arms on, and then uh, we'll get the chest put on. Uh, there you go, and I don't have a backpack, which that's okay, I guess. Um, I've been doing a lot of looting lately, so I've got a lot of stuff in my inventory. Uh, let's see. And then we're going to take a weapon with us, because it's a dangerous verse out there. It is a dangerous verse. So we're going to take ourselves a... Uh, that's a shock. We're going to take ourselves a grenade launcher. Uh, yeah, we're going to put a grenade launcher on our uh, back, and we're also going to grab ourselves a, uh, a trusty FS9. And there it is. All right, let's check out our ammo here. Uh, we don't have any ammo. Uh, I need to go out and uh, start looting some more. Let's grab ourselves a knife, uh, just in case. And we'll get ourselves a handgun, uh, which is going... Uh, version of the other six was live update available. Didn't I already update? Um, we're gonna ourselves a handgun here. So let's see. I thought I had a couple codas laying around. I do. I got one. Yeah, I got a few right there. All right, put ourselves a coda on there. And do I have any med pens or anything like that? No, but I do have a med gun. And uh, so there we go. We're all loaded up. We're ready to go. And uh, so let's go. What is Star Citizen? Star Citizen is a space exploration. Uh, it it it. Uh, you, you've got exploration. You've got mining and all kinds of stuff. We're gonna go through the whole thing, guys. We're gonna go through the. This is New Babbage, right? These are the apartments. Uh, you get one of these when you load into the game. Um, and uh, so that's what we have right now. And out there, it's nighttime out there in uh, New Babbage. And we're on a planet called uh, Microtech. Look at this. I just love the design here. And they got some kind of music going with some ladies singing. Look, there's a train. We're going to get on one of those right now. All right, so let's get an elevator. And then we're going to go down. <clears throat> and get on that train. There we go. All right, so what are we going to do today in, the, in today's mission? We're going to do a simple box mission uh, to kind of show you 
Uh, we're going to go through everything. We're going to go through the bounty hunting. We're going to go through the trading. We're going to go through uh, mining, and which I'm not very good at. Uh, we're going to do everything in this series, all right? This is only episode one, and we're going to be traveling everywhere and showing every single thing. So that, that way that um, hopefully we could reach somebody that, you know, what I'm trying to do is get exposure. What are we moving? Ah, I forgot to hit the button. Uh, I'm trying to expose as much Star Citizen to a brand new set of eyes as much as possible. If uh, so we could just help one person make up their mind. Look at this. Is it that cool? Huh? And here's uh, the main desk and stuff like that. Got NPCs all over the place. Some of them sitting down waiting for people. Maybe uh, they're waiting for a room or something like that. I don't know what they're doing. They're on their Moby glasses, checking their mail, stuff like that. And uh, we'll be checking our Moby glass too. Here, let's go ahead and have a seat real quick. Uh, let's sit down right here. Here we go. Now we're uh, part of the scene. Now we're part of the... Ooh, look at that. We're part of the scene here. Hi guys, how you doing? Huh? What are you waiting for? What brought you here? <clears throat> All right, let's get up. That looks like Skeletor from far away. Doesn't he? It looks like Skeletor. Ah, okay. All right, uh, see you later. I got a place to go. We got these awesome flowers here. You even got places right here. Imagine you're playing your game with your friend and you could just come over here and your friend could sit over there on that other chair and you could just sit here and chillax, dude. You ain't got to play the game. You ain't got to do the grind. You ain't got to earn UEC. You ain't got to go hunt other players. You could just sit here and chill. Like, man, it's a cool game, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, so what are you going to do on Friday? You, uh, you, you still coming over? Yeah, man, I'm coming over. Okay. All right. I'll see you Friday. All right, man. And that's it, you know? And then there's like some kind of art exhibit right here. Yeah, it's going to take me a long time to get down on that train. Isn't that cool, dude? How'd they get those three circles together? What do, what do you think it means? What do you think? Uh, You think that's like, um, has something? No, I don't, I don't know. What do you think this is? Hey, buddy. What do you think that is? <laughs> I have no idea. Um... All right, let's go. Let's go. Over here is the hospital. So when you get hurt, you can literally go in here. We'll look at it real quick. All right, so here's the hospital. Welcome to Brentworth Care Center. Brentworth Care Center, I guess, is what it's called. And there's, like, lore all over the place that you can read. Here's a map. Um, room reservation, uh, Olympus Insurance, Brentworth uh, Pharmacy, and it's got a map that says you are here, stuff like that. I think it says you are here. I don't know. It, it's, it should. It doesn't. And then here's like a waiting area. You can come over here and check in right here. Uh, patient check in. Um, <clears throat> if you check in, what it's going to do is, hey, that's me. Uh, please proceed to floor five, room four. So we actually now have a room. Uh, and let's, I'm not hurt, so I'm not going to go. But let's say my leg was broken and your leg can be broken. Yes. Uh, say my leg is broken. You come over here to these elevators and you go up to that room that they just told you to go to and you get on the med bed and it's pretty much automated. A lot of it's automated and you get onto the med bed that's in the uh, in, in the place and it'll like scan you and heal you and stuff like that. Uh, so this is the hospital. I, I'd show you upstairs, but I don't want to I don't want to get in that elevator right now. There's exit, transit, and aspire grand. All right, let's go. Here's where you could buy uh, drugs. I mean, not the bad kind, but like the good kind. Um, and you could get stuff to take out with you. Like uh, here, let me show you ex an example of the pharmacy here. So if you go to supplies, you've got all of these drugs that, that do different things. Here's an oxy pen. You know what? You should never leave home without a, a couple oxy pens. And you should never leave home without a med pen in case you twist your ankle out there. Uh, in case you twist your ankle out there, jumping down some kind of little mountain or something. So there you go. And resurgence, that's helps, that helps you from, I, I don't know, man. I don't know what it is. There's, there's, they mean they do something. Here, let me go ahead and get those on my person. 
Uh, so I'm going to go into here and we're just going to put those and we're going to take two of those and three of these. There we go. Um, well, I may as well take this one too. There you go. All right, so now we got oxygen pens and we've got medical pens uh, just in case something happens. Let's go ahead and get down in on the uh, train. Let's go down. Come on. And we're going to do a simple box mission on this video. And just to kind of show you, there's the commons. We will be taking a trip over there. Maybe not on this episode. Uh, but that is the commons. That takes you to, like, the, the, the fun place. That's the place where you get a bite to eat. You could go shopping. You can uh, uh, exercise. You There's there's so much over there. Um, but we're going to take the train real quick. Here's uh, This is kind of like where we are over here. And we're about to take a train all the way across that frozen lake. Oh, it's here. And then we're going to go to this building right here. That's where we're going. And it's not a loading screen. It's actually us traveling through this this digital world. And it's amazing. All right. We're getting ready to go. All right. We're going. All right. It's dark outside, so we're not going to be able to see too much because it's nighttime. But at least you get to see the lights of the city. That's that building. We were up there on that top floor. That's the building we came from. And we took an elevator down. We looked at the hospital. Um, so we're leaving there. We're going across this frozen ice. You can't see because it's so dark. It's nighttime out there. Turn on my flashlight. That doesn't work. Um, but yeah, see that? That's the spaceport that we're heading to. And so this game is like so real. It's like you don't get to just log in and do whatever you want. You've got to travel from where you start. You got to travel. You got to take a train. You got to take elevators. You got to do this just to get to this place. And that, and you know, a lot of people might be like, well, that's just a waste of my time, man. I look, I look at it like it, that's the selling point to me. How real and immersive that this game makes you feel that it take, forces you to take a train across a frozen lake after two or three elevator rides. You know, and, and let's say, let's just say that you had um, a broken leg or you didn't have a, um, a helmet to put on, right? You, you would have to go to the commons first, go shopping, and then get your butt, uh, after you get done shopping, then you'd have to come all the way back and then get on that train that we just took. So it really forces you to do the movements. And a lot of people might not like that. I love it. Absolutely love it. I should stop talking and just edit to where I'm already doing the box missions. Um, but this is just amazing. You got guards all over the place. If you had a crime stat and you somehow spawned in your easy hat, these guys wouldn't like that at all. Um, they wouldn't like that. Not one bit. Uh, and there's like customs that's supposed to scan you, but that's not implemented into the game yet. Uh, let me state that there is a lot of bugs in this game uh, because it's a game that is actively in development. Like uh, as they're making it, we're playing it. So there's a lot of bugs, a lot of stuff like that. Here's a viewing window of where we came from, but it's really glinty and it's hard to see across the way. But you see that building right there? That's where we were. And then we took a very fast train that went across that frozen lake, and now we're here. Um, here's an android. Here's an android right over here. Uh, not an android, hologram. We'll say, well, it's a holog hologram android. Hi. Is there something I can help you with? Uh, tell us a joke. Let's see. Um, where's the joke? Here's a funny joke. What do you call a mobile risk computational unit that is completely made out of helium? Moby gas. Oh, get it. Moby glass, Moby gas, get it. <clears throat> Lady, uh, oh, so if anybody uh, is interested, this voice actress who, who uh, did the voice for her, we interviewed her on our show. 
Um, and we got the video here on YouTube. And she now plays Star Citizen, the game that she acted in. I think that's really cool. Her name's Anna, and I love her. Anna Demetrio. All right, let's uh, go ahead and figure out what ship we're going to pull out today. Um, I think one of the ships uh, that we should pull out is the 400i. I think it, it would showcase a lot of cool stuff. So let's uh, let's back up. I want to put the uh, certain paint on my uh, 400i. So let's click this, and then we'll come on down here to Origin. Origin 400i right there, and then we'll get the paint. From the best Bam. We'll get Dark that on there. Save changes. Be sure to visit new and that's all we want. That's all we need. And, okay, so you got this far, right? You're playing Star Citizen. You got this far. You're like, oh, cool. Uh, what do I got to do? I finally made it to where I, I can get my ship. Uh, if you have a hard time at New Babbage trying to get... Whoa, excuse me, buddy. Please use one of the convenient then just kind of watch what I did. Uh, you just... It's just a couple elevator rides. A train ride. And then you're here. Um, but you're like, well, what do I do now? Uh, well, first you hit your Moby Glass F1 right there. And then you find this guy <coughs> down here. It's your contract manager. And you're going to use a contract manager to look at jobs that they have. Uh, so we got an evaluation mission that we have to do. Um, I guess that reset. Uh, so you could deliver. You could do search and rescue missions. Uh, you could do investigation missions. There's bounty hunting missions where you can go out there and uh, bounty hunt either NPCs or real players that did something bad and they have a crime stat. Mercenary. You got mercenary. We're going to take this call to arms. You always want to take that in case you have to fight somebody who is a, a criminal but maybe not has a uh, bounty on their name. Um, so let's go ahead and we're going to do this delivery evaluation right we're going to take that it only pays 3000 uec um but the box delivery missions the more you do them the more they get paid and the more dangerous that they get listen to that there's progression in even box missions the more you do them the more you get paid for them and the more dangerous they become all right so and we're going to be doing these jobs here so that way we can earn <clears throat> money see this money three million two hundred thirty two thousand seven hundred ninety uh you're gonna need money in this game right to buy spaceships with this fake money now you might have heard uh oh you gotta use real money to buy ships and start saying no you don't have to not at all not at all the game barely wipes anything anymore they do sometimes um but uh i i, I it's so like it doesn't happen much at all and it and here's the money that you earn you could buy spaceships armor clothes food medical supplies guns ammo backpacks all kinds of stuff mining supplies that's what you use this for and we're we're about to go make some of that money right now so we got total criminals neutralized says at the top so i got the wrong mission selected so we're going to go in here go to my accepted and go see i've got called an arm see it's got a little pin in it i don't want the pin there so i'm going to untrack that and then go to this one and i'm going to track that one that way it'll give me a marker on the screen where i need to go to pick up what i need to pick up and then i'm going to come in here to this terminal <clears throat> i'm going to find my ship that i want and we're going to go down here to origin and right here 400i we're going to pick this one and we're going to go Get that package and deliver it to where they want us to deliver it to. It's not on this planet. Hangar 10. It's not on this planet. It's got to be somewhere else. Um, Because it's like 65,000 kilometers away. So it's pretty far away. Uh, <clears throat> oh, shoot. I forgot already. Oh, Hangar 10. That's right. Uh, Hangar 10. There we go. Come on, come on, go on, come on. Here we go. All right, so this is the Origin 400i. It is one of my favorite ships in this whole game. And just wait until you see it. It looks like something out of Star Wars. 
look at the the paint on it. It's like uh it's like metal. Like you know what I mean? Like stainless steel. Look at that. Look at this thing. She is beautiful. It's one of my favorite ships. It's one of the most unique ships in this game. In my opinion. Uh, let's see. So, open the ramp access. There we go. Alright, let's go inside. And we're going to close it. So, let's see. Uh, close that up. Look at this. This is like the gravity generator or something. I don't know what it is. I think it's a gravity generator. Okay, so we're going to go up to the cockpit area. All this stuff can open here, and they're like, uh, they're like closets that you can store stuff in. Um, all right, let's go. We're going to go down these stairs, and we're going to go up this elevator right here. We're going to go up to the uh, bridge. And here is a little bit of R&R. &R. You got your kitchen come down here and sit down uh, and then there's the turret that's it's a remote turret from the back and there's like a little place right there to sit um, and then here is wow I don't go in I don't I don't go in this room that much a little closet in here too look at that oh nice origin man they're really good on their ships okay let's uh Bam. All right, we are in the captain's chair. We're going to go ahead and turn on this machine. There she is, starting up. And there's what she looks like. Look at that paint. This thing comes uh, uh, brand new, comes stock white. Um, but I do like this one better. All right, so you're in your ship. You're like, well, how the hell do I get out of here? You got to hit that F11. F11 and then go to friends. And this it'll say the spaceport that you're at. You just click this little symbol right here. And it's going to call those guys. You are clear to launch. Mm-hmm. Clear to launch. And right above us, the door is opening. See that? And we're going to wait until that's fully open, and then we're going to take off. And again, none of this is loading screens. This hangar is not an instance all by itself. So if you were standing up there on the ledge, you'd be able to look down and see me in here. And you'd be able to see me take off. All right, so let's go ahead and lift up. We're going to go into third person. Put our landing gear up. There you go. Kind of look around us. Look at that. That's where we were, right down there. Ooh, it's starting to turn daylight here on my uh, new Babbage. It's turning daylight. All right, so the doors are now shutting uh, below us. All right, it's time to go. Let's go get that box and deliver it. And we'll put uh, episode one of This Is Star Citizen to bed. All right, let's go. Look at that. Look at those clouds, man. Yeah, I'm controlling the ship right now, so here I'll do I'll do a spin. See, I'm controlling. I know it looks like a cutscene. It's not a cutscene. I'm literally controlling the ship the, the best that I can. <laughs> All right, let's just focus on getting out of here. So we need to look and see it on the map. So we're gonna hit F2 real quick. Wait, let me get out. Let me put my cruise control on so that way I don't have to. We're going to take a look at the map here. Um, I think it's on one of the moons near. It's on 
Calliope. Look at that. All right, so we're going to plot a course for Calliope. And then uh, we're going to spool up our quantum drive. And what we're looking for... Sometimes you don't have to exit the atmosphere all the way to quantum. And it looks like we're good. Looks like we can quantum right over here to Calliope. Turn our cruise control off. And engage. And this is also not a loading screen. We are literally traveling through actual space to get to another object that is on this map. All right, and we're here. All right, it looks like our package is just right up there. She's a heavy ship, man. And that's another cool thing. All these ships, they all handle differently. Looks like we're going to Rayari and Vic Research Outpost and engage. Quantum drive activated. We're okay. Right, here we go. Look at this beautiful game. Would you just look at this? Watch this. I'm going to put on my boosters. Oh, yeah. Now we're just cruising in there. All right. Be careful. Absolutely be careful. We need to slow down. <coughs> so some of these moons have like really <coughs> low gravity on them. They have like really low gravity. So you got to be careful. All right, we need to... I'll turn off our quantum drive. Put on our headlights. All right. Let's see if we can turn around. It's right below us. box that we got to deliver is right down there. Right, let's go ahead and start leveling out our ship. gear down. Landing gear deployed. There is a landing pad here, so let's see if we can get on the landing pad. been used to I've gotten used to flying really small ships here lately stop oh my god okay back up All right, I think we made it. Uh, <laughs> let's turn off the engines. We'll leave uh, the electricity on so that way the shields are still protecting the ship. And we'll go ahead and get out, go in there, grab that package, and deliver it to where it's supposed to be. All right, take the elevator down. And I think we go... Is it this way? No, but we'll take this way. And 
here we are on a strange moon. We were on a planet that we started on called Microtech, and now we are on a moon called Calliope. There's our ship. I wish it was at nighttime here so that way you guys could see everything. Anyways, let's go. Look at this. Come on. We gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. Now there's other things that you could do while you're getting this box. These buildings that you can go into have uh, loot in them then you could actually go around and start picking up stuff that doesn't belong to you and in the next update we're going to have the ability to be able to sell it right now you could just be a hoarder and keep everything all right we got an npc in here we've got a box over here that's what we need to grab but there's a box here to loot i'm going to see what's in it see if there's anything good inside um, no, just a bunch of fruit. Okay. Um, is there any other boxes in here? Is that one lootable? Yep. All right, so let's, uh, duck down, see if we can get in here. Um, ooh, we got a pistol in here. All right, so we're just gonna grab all this and bring it on over. I'm gonna fill it fast because I forgot to bring a backpack with me. And a knife too. All right. Well, that we'll go ahead and grab the box. That shows you a little bit of the looting that you could do around the place. And then you got to take that loot back to your home <coughs> and then store it in your local inventory. <coughs> so. If I die before I get back home, I lose all that stuff that I found. All right, I don't know what's in this package. We're not supposed to ask. Sounds like liquid. And while you're out here doing this, can you, um, can you run into another player? Yes. It's rare, but it can happen. And let's go ahead and uh, we'll, we'll keep a hold of it for a minute. And we're just going to leave it right here. So I'm just going to place it um, right there. We'll just leave it right where it sits. And get back into the cockpit and get this thing delivered. There we go. Oh, yeah, we got to turn on the engines. Engines active. We'll let them wind up here. All right, they are wound up. Put the landing gear up. Now, let's check the map to see where this thing's going. I bet you it's going back to Microtech. Oh, no, it's staying on Calliope? Wait a minute. Drop off package. Yeah, right there. Looks like it's going to take us hopefully to the day side, right? Quantum drive. Let's turn off that quantum drive. And let's start heading down to this uh, beautiful moon. And it is a little daylight out, so we'll be able to see a little bit more of the moon. And you can go anywhere on these moons. Anywhere. Okay. 
pretty close. So let me go ahead and get that landing gear out. There she is. This is where the box is going to get dropped off. After this, we'll have uh, missions that will consist of three box deliveries. So they won't be single anymore. They'll be all, uh, most of them will be uh, three boxes at a time. Up, 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 up. Oh, oh, we hit something. It's okay. That's why these, uh, that's why these ships are built tough. Glad you seen that, because I don't want you thinking that, uh, flying is easy. There you go. Okay. <laughs> We're down. I don't know if that's a... Oh, yeah, I meant to do that. That's a good parking job. All right, I forgot to turn off the engines, but that's okay. All right, I'm gonna do something a little bit different once I deliver this box. I wanna show you some other things that you could do. Okay, um, let's go this way again. We have to, because the box is over here. All right, let's pick up that box, and let's put this bay down there right there look at that low gravity do you see that do you see that jump as soon as we deliver this box we're going over there to that blue building whoops not the orange one the blue one and I'll show you what we're going to do it's, I'm going to give an example of the many possibilities that this game has for you to enjoy. And no, I don't work for CIG. No, I'm not trying to get paid. I'm excited. I want to see people play this game. I just want to see people play this game. Look at this freaking place, though. Look at that sun. All right. Get this door open. And we're supposed to deliver it into this thing. Uh, drop off. How you doing, dude? What are you looking for? You never find you, you never find it. As much as you look for that, whatever it is, you never find it. There we go. I think it's safe to say that it's not there, dude. So you're about to see on the top of the screen. I'm going to get paid for my mission. Objective is complete. And I'll be paid. Um, right there. Got paid. Now, that's not a lot of money. Um, but now, if I look at my box delivery missions, check this out. And, of course, they're not showing up because I guess it's got to cool down. Okay, we'll check it here in a minute. So, we're going to go over here to this blue building like I was talking about. Our ship is still over there. That uh, dirt or mud, it definitely looks wet. That's so cool. All right, let's go on inside here. Now, I'm done working for the day. I made I made 3,000 UEC. I don't need to do anything else. I'm done. Uh, and let's get out this ship. Well, it's not a ship. It's a motorcycle. A motorcycle in 2952.
we go. It's right outside. It's going to be right outside. And look, you can see. Wait, where's my ship? Go to the window. Oh, the coffee machine's in the way. It's gonna, I was going to look at my ship to the window. There's my motorcycle sitting right outside. Let's go check it out. And also, if your ship blows up, if somebody comes over there and blows up your ship or you lose it or you log off without putting it away, don't worry about it. You could uh, just do an insurance claim on it and, um, and, and get it right back for free. You don't even have to pay money, uh, like in-game money. You don't have to pay in-game money to get your ship back. All right, so here is the hover quad, and I want to show you something. I'm going to take it out of the armistice and show you something. All right, so let's go ahead and get on, and then we'll turn it on. Okay. There we go. Okay. Um, let's turn it on. Welcome. Your journey begins now. All and these things have different height modes, right? So we got this. We could go lower, and it'll hover. So let me show you it hovering. So it'll hover, and uh, you could even go high with it. So that way, in hopes that you don't hit like uh, too much debris, that's about as as high as it'll hover. Um, and then you also can lower it down quite a bit, and that is as low as you can make it. I like to fly it up here like this uh, because there are a lot of rocks to run into. So let's go out of the armistice. I want to show you what this thing could do. It's pretty cool. out of armistice all right let's uh set her down right here all right so we're gonna lower it there we go and turn off the engines and it's gonna lower nice and slow there you go and now we're gonna get off of it So when I was out, I found some guns and stuff like that. This thing actually has storage in it. Watch this. If I can remember where it's at. I think it's uh, on the other side. Is it in the back? That's the power plant. Here's the storage. So I could take all that stuff that I found and put it right inside my bike, including this gun. See that? Put it all inside the bike. So now, I'm, in, I'm, I'm not carrying anything on my body anymore. Now it's all in, in the... Sh it's in there. And that little door that just closed. See it? So this thing actually has storage on it. So I thought that was cool. Alright, let's get back on and let's uh, take it for a cruise for a couple minutes. Baby, look at this. Isn't this cool? You could go out and earn money making, making, you know, earn UEC doing missions and play the gameplay loops. <laughs> or you could ask CIG to fix the grav lift for real this time. As always, I'm going to get out of here. As always, guys, thank you so much for joining the show. I love you. The game is great. It's my favorite game in the whole wide world. I hope you give it a try. Right now it's free. Give it a shot. Give it a shot. It's free. What are you gonna what are you you can delete it? You can delete it off your system after the free fly event's over. It's free, but don't forget to use my referral code that is in the description that says become a star citizen. Get in the verse with me. I want more people to play with. As always. May the verse be with you. Until next time, guys. Some slight vertigo, but you have been clear to leave.